In this time, ferns and fern symbolism were present almost everywhere, in homes, artwork, fashion, literature, and of course, gardens. Books on identifying common varieties of European ferns were flying off the shelves, and many fans of the plant would even collect them, cultivating ferns in their homes or saving them in scrapbooks. Fern hunting parties became a popular social event, especially for younger individuals who might be looking for a casual environment in which to meet a romantic partner. Fern collection was also one of the few outdoor hobbies that was socially appropriate for women, providing them with some much-needed adventure and even the opportunity to leave the house unchaperoned, since it was considered to be a wholesome activity. Additionally, it was also one of the few hobbies that transcended class divides, as it was accessible in some form to people of all means. <laughs>